Good day, in this short video, we're going to explain how to set up a Kyvol device, in this case, an E31 Robovac in Google Home. This is the companion piece to our Kyvol E31 unboxing setup and review, which you can click on in the top right hand corner right about now if you're interested. Okay, so let's go set it up. Now I'm doing this on a Samsung S22 Android, but it doesn't make any difference. You can do it on an Apple, it'll be roughly the same. So basically you go to the store and let's find Kyvol. That's it. Okay, let's open. I don't know why it would need access to my photos and media. I'm gonna say don't allow. Let's see what that does. There we go. Okay, to run normally, it needs access to the location. Yep, I get that. And I've got to create an account. I'm in Canada. I'm gonna skip, you won't be able to see this. I'm just gonna skip through it. Okay, I've clicked get code, which means now I need to go verify that I'm me by getting a one-time code. They're just trying to make sure the email's accurate. There it is. And I'll enter a password. Click agree. Click create account and it's going to run. There we go. Enter my password. Log in. Add device. I have an E31, just probably this one at the bottom. Uh, yep. The indicator is flashing quickly. Okay, so when I say what I'm about to say, my boss is Russian. I have Ukrainians living in my basement and uh, I'm helping them right through the war. And uh, I have a couple of good friends that are Chinese. So don't take what I'm about to say is, you know, giant racist thing. I'm not a fan of uh, any Chinese company or Russian company having access to my location. So I will say only this time. I'll save my password, Microsoft Edge. Love how it does that. Okay, now it's connecting. Okay, so it failed and uh, I can see why right here. My Wi-Fi on my cell phone is connected to my network here at five gigahertz and not the 2.4 gigahertz that it wants. So I'm going to swipe down I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi and I'm going to change. I do have a 2.4 gigahertz network as well. Most people do. Okay, so now I'm on 2.4 gigahertz. Let's click retry. If the Wi-Fi light on the Kyvol E31 is not flashing quickly, you can read the instructions, but all it says is to hold the two rubber buttons in front of it down at the same time for three seconds. But mine is flashing, so we're just gonna click. And again, I only want it to know this time. Yay, so it's set up. And uh, by the way, flashing is not rapid flashing. If it's not rapid flashing, press and hold those two rubber buttons. Just as charging, okay, it doesn't give you the status of charge. Let's go to home. And I wanna set up voice control. With Google. Okay. Launch Google Home. Works with Google. Select Kyvol app and authorize it. Yeah, I can do that. Set up device, works with Google. That's a lot, I'm gonna do a search. I will home, there we go. Yep, continue.
Yep. Yay. Let's go back, see if it's there. Link to you, there it is. E31. Yay! And we'll be back in a little bit once it's charged. And we're back. It's a couple of days later, I've let it charge, and now we've got the Kaibol actually cleaning. And by the way, all I've done is press the start button on it and we're on our way. So what can we do with the app? Well, first thing, you can stop it. Second thing, let's press play again. I can change the suction pretty easily, just clicking on it. I'll change that, put it on suction one, because that's all I need. Uh, I can also click on the device and I can go in and make a bunch of changes. One of them uh, that I already did is this battery percentage. For some reason, this is off by default and it shows you the battery up there. I actually much rather know the number, so I turn that on. And that's the only change I've made without you seeing it. So let's continue through here. So you can see here, obviously I can pause. I can make it go left or right or up or down. I'm gonna go back to click clean because I don't care. I can select edge and what edge does is find a hard surface like a wall and go around it and it will go around all of the hard surfaces it can find for 20 minutes and then it will return back to home. In other words, the charging base and charge itself. And uh, while I love my bob sweep, I used to love my bob sweep, um, the Kaibol just does a much better job by the way at going back to its base. So just a little note there that uh, you, you can see in the main video that uh, the link is in the top right hand corner that it just does a better job. Let's move on. Okay, suction control again. I can change the amount of suction it's got. I'll change it back to level one. Uh, schedules, I'm not going to use a schedule. I don't like things just starting up without me. So I'm going to turn that off. The spot just means going concentric circles. So what it's going to do is you, you put it down where there's a you know plant knocked over or something and you just do spot and it will just keep going out and out and out and out and out, making it larger. And let's look at what it's done for mapping my floor. So I'm going to click on the map and you can see it's over here currently. And I can zoom in. I'm just using my fingers. So you can see it's going through the floor right now and it's going to go back and try to get any areas that it missed. But it's doing a, a great job of just efficiently moving through the floor as opposed to my bob sweep that moved in random directions. By the way, the random direction thing, not near as bad as you might think. It actually works pretty well, but this works better. This has only been running for yeah, 15, 16 minutes here, and it's cleaned uh, 300 square feet. My floor is a lot larger than 300 square feet. Uh, statistics up here, let's click the settings in the top right-hand corner. Device details, you know, after call service, that may be something that they want as a serial number. It's the easiest place to get it. Device sharing, I don't want to do. Consumables, now this I find a little odd. The service life and the side brush and the main roller brush, uh, the HEPA filter, yeah, I doubt that I will probably ever change these. I had spare rollers and things for my bob sweep and I never changed them because I just cleaned them and they worked fine. So when I sold my bob sweep uh, last week, I sold it with a brand new roller and a brand new side brush, which the new buyer very much liked. Okay, moving on. Uh, cleaning records. This just tells you, you know, what you've been doing. Now, I started this up earlier today and just played with it for a couple of minutes to see how it was working. Uh, firmware update. Uh, this shipped with the firmware that it needed. There was there was no update. And uh, find my Cybovac. If I click on that, it will beep three times quite loudly so you'll be able to hear it. In fact, we reset pretty obvious. All right, so let's see what we can do with Google Voice Control with Google Home. Okay, Google, turn RoboVac on. There it goes. Okay, Google, turn RoboVac off. Cool. All right, in the top right hand corner is the link to the full video that goes over the Cybovac itself. And if you click that and watch it, that'd be great if you're interested. 
If you find this video useful, please click like and subscribe is always appreciated, but we would also really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment. If you have a question, if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urteck.ca. www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.